Yo, what up, it's Don. Same Lee here. Soul Brothers, back in action. I'm back in action. Yeah. Um, hit the court hard in these Puma Legacies. Um, and the, I think the, the name is uh, Legacy Dark Mode, but I think Dark Mode is the colorway. Yeah, I think okay, so. Right? Yeah. So it's just a Puma Legacy. Mm -hmm. These retail for 110. Uh, like budget. Yeah. Well, definitely on the budget end, mm -hmm. uh, but there's you know some pretty good competition around that price range. Yeah, very good competition. So they got their work cut out for them. Um, if you do want to cop these, we will try to leave links below for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but these, uh, this is a performance review. Let's get right into the traction. Yes. Um, so um, I mean, looking at it, it looks very dusty and yeah. dirty. Uh, how is the traction? Um, it was pretty good, but it does pick up dust. Okay. Okay. Very silent, no squeak whatsoever. Um, takes a little bit. You got to break it in for a little bit, uh, but you are going to be wiping in these, and that is kind of a bummer. Mm -hmm. um, definitely not top tier traction, but definitely adequate uh, for outdoor use. It is a pretty soft rubber. It is a very you soft rubber. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, didn't play with these outdoors. You know, I'll leave it up to you guys. Would we suggest it for outdoor use? I don't really like, think so. Dude, no, I don't think so. You know? Especially with these really small nub ones. Yeah. Yeah, those will like definitely rip off. Yeah, so, um, you know, it wasn't bad. Like the traction. I don't really like wiping too much, however. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's that. All right, moving on to the cushion. Uh, it's dual density. You got Ignite and you got Energy beads. Yes. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of the beads poking through this little window here um, yeah. um, in the outsole. And, you know, it, it's just, come on, man. Hot trash? It, uh, you know, Hot trash. it's pretty trash. Okay. I mean, like, w if you're going to use two named technologies, and like, give me some. Nice. Yeah. Give me exactly. some. I mean, it's not horrendous. I've had worse, but it's fairly stiff. Um, doesn't really feel like much is going on. It could just be any random foam, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, you know, it, it wasn't horrendous. It was adequate, some decent impact protection, really not too much bounce. Overall, pretty stiff and uh, pretty disappointing. How is that core feel though? Uh, core feel's not bad. Not bad? Yeah, you're not super high up, so core feel's actually decent. Also not the best, mm -hmm. kind of just average. I mean, like, I guess if you're a guard and you want more of a responsive cushion and it has okay impact protection i guess this is a okay option it's right? doable it's doable yeah. yeah um of course you have absolutely no heel compression right because no. look, look at that rubber none puma you need to stop caging up your cushion so much let let it go yeah you know let it let be, it live let it live let Cage it compress free. yes you know that's, I mean? that's, that's how they're supposed to live yeah. right you know but um anyways yeah so cushion was just eh Eh. All right. You know. Um, moving on to the materials. Materials seem pretty nice. Yeah, it's like a nice kind of like uh, Kyrie type of vibe. The EM. In, in yeah. Like a strong, pretty thin EM. Mm -hmm. uh, not super bulky, which is cool. Um, in the back half, though, it gets a little cheesy. Yeah, with the um, leather. You got some kind of synthetic leather. I highly doubt this is real leather, but yeah. Um, so, you know, materials are meh also. Yeah, I, I do like the tongue, though. Yeah, the tongue is cool. Yeah, it feels like a really nice knit material. Yeah, the tongue is dope. And don't get me wrong, it's, you know, a solid setup for, for, for a hoop shoe, mm -hmm. really. You, you know, it's like uh, supportive and pretty thin, not too bulky. and So, you know, it, it does the job. Yeah, because like, you know, um, the leather material in the angle area, you like never feel. The, the material that you actually feel when you're playing and like walking around is mostly just like in the midfoot, kind of like the tongue, and then, you know, mostly in the forefoot. And the forefoot is actually really thin. Yeah, you know, and it feels soft, so yeah. um, that, it's not too bad. And it breaks in, you know, the more you play in it, it it'll yeah. break in a little bit, so, yeah. uh, you know, not too bad there. You got your sort of standard kind of oval laces. Yep. Um, fairly cheap, you know, but, you know, kind of what's expected on a budget model. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the feet team. The fit is a little wide Ooh. for me, so I'd say a little wider than normal, okay, because I got a narrow foot. Um, and then sizing, you're gonna want to go down half a size. Mm -hmm. It does run a little bit long. Um, so other than that, though, fit was really good for me. Um, it, it got pretty snug, even though it was a little roomy. Um, I was able to kind of crank the laces down. Had to crank them down a little more than I like to, but um, as a narrow footer, I'm used to that. So fit was pretty good. Okay. Uh, support and lockdown. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's a solid yeah. point in the shoe. Yeah. For sure. You, you got no issues. Um, Huge guys, shifty guys, you'll be fine in this. And what there's uh, even some ankle restriction, mm -hmm. which is nice. Okay. You can kind of crank it down and get the eyelids all the way up. 
and you do get some ankle restriction if you got them uh, Steph Curry ankles. Oh, so all right. All right, moving on to the weight. The These ain't weight. really light. Uh, I feel like, what do you mean, dude? They feel so, so uh, light, dude. Um, let's see. Yep, 21.20. Out of line. Yeah, that's too much. Way out of line. That's real heavy. Um, especially for a budget model, usually they, they get that cheap, cheap light yeah. feeling because they're using budget materials and they're able to at least keep it light. This is not the case. It's heavy. It feels heavy. I feel like it's because also the cushion. Yeah. Because like boost, like uh, what it, it's it's boost and then like whatever, it, it's energy. Right? Energy and yeah. ignite. Right. So, um, I mean... You guys already know, it's basically the same compound and we know that Bruce is heavy, yeah. so I don't think that helps either. Yeah, and then think about how much rubber caging is going on here. Yeah. Almost along the whole uh, midsole. Mm -hmm. So you got a ton of rubber, which is usually one of the heaviest aspects of a basketball shoe, is the rubber, you know? Yeah, exactly, so um, yeah, that sucks, but you know, there's that. As far as stepping comfort, how is it? Yeah. Casual use now, not yeah. very comfortable? No. All right. Um, breaking time? Yeah, you're gonna need to break them in a little bit. A few days, yeah. you'll be all right. Uh -huh. uh, unless you're someone who really likes that super, super stiff, supportive feel, um, right, like as a brand new shoe. I know a lot of NBA players, they just use brand new shoes. Mm. They don't even like to break them in. So, uh, but I, we like them broken a little bit. Yes. Uh, as far as ventilation goes? Uh, hot. Hot? Yeah. Ooh, all right. Uh, definitely not cool. Not crazy hot, but you know, definitely not a well-ventilated shoe. Mm -hmm. Uh, durability seems good besides the outsole. Do not play with these outdoors at all. No. So, um, but other than that, upper seems very, very, very durable. Mm -hmm. um, as far as aesthetics goes, I like the way these shoes look, dude. Uh, I like these. Who am I doing something right to me? I don't really? know what it is. I kind of like these. Yeah. All right, so wrapping things up, 110 bucks. Seems like it's, a, it's an okay performer. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Which, you know, for 110 bucks, you can get incredible performers. Like the PG. For $70. Kyrie Low. $80, you can yeah. get insane performers. Yes. Pass on these. Um, you know, we really want to like Puma, uh, these Puma shoes, but, you know, you got to start from the ground up and it's got to be a good performer. I mean, do your cushion better and make it lighter. How yeah, about that? Yeah. And make your traction a little bit better as well. Not a horrible shoe, but just nothing impressive. Yeah. Just kind of an average Joe. Yeah. You know, but exactly. around that price range, like I keep saying, it's kill or be killed. Yeah. You know, because there's some real performers. Cheaper, a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. But um, anyways, that's the Puma Legacy and this colorway is the dark mode. If you guys want to cop, we'll leave a link in the description box because, I mean, it, it, you can play in it. It's pretty good, yeah. but, you know, there are better options out there. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next one. Later, bitch.